So today's lesson is on creating the we with your target market. And what does this actually mean? Well, in its simplest form, I want you to think about uh, like a sports team. And what happened last night was Virginia just beat Texas Tech in the NCAA March Madness tournament. And what happens is with fans, like especially, I know like college basketball fans, when teams win, uh, the fans say like, we won, we win, we played great, we played awesome. And what happens is like we chunk ourselves together. See, I'm saying we, like you and me. We, we basically step into the role of being a part of the team, whether or not we actually participated or not. And, we, and people like take pride in it. We take pride in the fact that we're a part of something. Like I love my Tesla. I got a Elon Musk shirt on. This is my car. Pretty cool, right? I love this thing. So what we're gonna do is we're, uh, I'm, I'm part of like the we of Tesla. And what you wanna do is start thinking about how you can create that for your target market. Like right now I'm creating a lot of videos in order to get to know you more and let you kind of learn more about me so that we can have a better relationship. And what's cool about this is I have a note right here. The money happens when the bond is created. So what does that actually mean? Well, think about this. You can either be a really good marketer or you can be someone who's consistently providing value and just like participating with the audience and following up that way. And when you're doing video marketing, when you're doing video stuff like this, you're providing and it's a it's an easier opportunity for your audience to kind of bundle up with you to start consuming your content and to start seeing your message over and over again. And that's when the we is formed. Uh, when people start seeing you over and over again, they're 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 basically going to start liking you or they'll stop watching. They'll they'll click like hide post. And there's two different trains of thoughts for what you can do for paid advertising in this particular instance. Uh, the first thing is you can run paid ads directly to a website in order to collect leads. And you do have to be like a pretty good marketer in order to turn uh, like a cold prospect into a qualified lead and then lead them through your sales process. On the other hand, you can you have to, of course, be comfortable with spending money on something that's not guaranteed. And it's probably not the best thing for me to tell you as someone who works on like consulting stuff for this, but the truth is you need to be willing to spend some money in order to build up the relationship between you and your audience. And what happens when you do it that way is kind of cool. Um, people start to see your stuff more and then the selling process actually becomes easier. People, uh, it's not like a hard sell, it's more of the, the like helpful approach. So creating the we, like the you and me, that type of thing within marketing happens through consistently getting your marketing message in front of your target market and uh, leveraging things that Facebook gives you, uh, like custom audience, stuff like that. And that's, that's kind of like the back end stuff that a lot of people don't know about, don't geek out over like I do. Um, so if you don't know about that and you want to start leveraging, like using this kind of stuff for your business, send my page here a message. I'd love to chat with you to see if I can give you some ideas that you can implement immediately to start getting better results. And then, you know, see if we can improve your return on your ad spend. Um, but I guess going back to the beginning, thinking about the we within your market, uh, think about how you can provide that for your target market. Think about the things that you personally can do to kind of get people on board with your message, with your story, with your everything. Uh, but that's it for today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching. If you got value out of this, consider sharing it with someone who might see the value in it, someone who might be interested in, you know, learning how to properly market their business online through social, which is where I spend a lot of my ad dollars go to social because it's incredible for building up the we within the relationship. But thanks for watching. Send my page a message if you have other questions about this. Have a good day.